G'day and welcome back to the channel, Ginger Ninja's Movie Reviews. I am the Ginger Ninja and these are my trashy Tuesday movie reviews. If you're new to my channel, thank you very much for tuning in, stopping by and checking it out. If you're wondering what I mean by trashy Tuesday, well, trashy films to me, they're not always bad. You know, some of them definitely are, but the majority of the trashy films that I'm looking at are films that are found in the 80s and they're done with a passion or, you know, definitely low budget and they've just got a bit of heart to them. Now, this one's not from the 80s. This one is from 2013. It is The Return to Newcomb High, Volume 1. And yes, I have covered the previous Newcomb High films and I did really enjoy those ones, mostly. But let's see how they go many years later. Anyway, before I do get into that, I do want to say a big thank you to all my new and existing subscribers. I know I say it week in, week out, but it truly means a lot to me. Thank you for your ongoing support. Let's get into this one. Now, directed by Lloyd Kaufman, it stars Asta Paredes, Catherine Corcoran, Lloyd Kaufman, and Lemmy. Yeah. Um, we did see him in one of the previous Toxic Avenger films uh, as an extra. This time he plays the president. Of course. <laughs> um, look, the plot, and this is direct from INDB. When the other students begin to undergo mutations, a lesbian couple must solve the mystery and save Tremorville High School. There's a bit more to it than that. Um, yeah. A lot more to it. Now, before we get into it, I will... There will be spoilers ahead. Look, let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> you can... Yeah. It is what it is. Anyway. First of all, this is a trauma film. It is not for the easily offended or faint of heart. There is a rampant use of a variety of isms. Yeah, you name it, it's in there. Um, and look, to be honest, that's what we've come to expect from these films. It's quintessential trauma entertainment. And it's a movie that delivers a wild ride full of the studio's signature blend of campy humour, over-the-top gore, slime, lots of nudity, more slime, and unapologetic absurdity. But for me, any movie that starts with a glowing narration from Stan Lee and throws in a severed penis, all in the first five minutes, well, it gets a point in my book. This is very much a throwback to the original class of Newcomb High, but yeah, let's be honest, that film came out in the 80s and it was a very different time. Let's see what Tremor have done now. Okay, so let's have a look at the cast and the performances in Return to Newcomb High Volume 1 are appropriately over the top, which we've come to expect from Troma films. Um, Paredes and Corcoran delivering standout performances as the film's central duo. Um, their rivalry at the start, which builds into attraction and their heroics and their mutations, all work well. Um, you know, and their chemistry does add a surprising layer to the heart of the movie amidst all the chaos that's unfolding. Kaufman himself appears as Lee Harvey Herzkoff, the head of the sinister food company Tromogenic Foodstuffs, delivering a performance that is very hammy and perfectly in tune with the film's overall tone. The entire cast do fully commit to their roles, and that is one thing I will always respect Trim Entertainment for. Their cast go all in. You know, they have fun with it. They commit everything to their roles, no matter how bad. And they embrace the ridiculousness of the roles. But look, whilst they do commit, their characters are often one-dimensional and they do lack significant development or depth. And let's be honest, they're probably not going to win any awards. And that's one of the joys of these films. Like, that's one of the things I truly appreciate about these movies. I do get a lot of fun out of watching people just try their best, no matter how. And I'm not saying I would do any better. I love the work that these guys do. But look, 
The focus is mainly on the outrageous scenarios and shock value, especially in that first five minutes. That was kind of shocking. <laughs> but it sometimes does come at the expense of any meaningful character arcs, excluding our two leads. Now onto the directing and the writing, and look, the film's chaotic nature might be overwhelming for those unfamiliar with Tremor's style, especially with Kaufman's directing being frantic and unapologetic, and with a clear love for the genre. The film is packed with Troma's trademark brand of social satire, taking aim at everything from corporate greed to environmental issues. Yeah, there's a lot of self-referencing in this too, um, and the humour is crude and, yeah, it's offensive. But it's also cleverly self-aware, making it clear that the film is not meant to be taken seriously and is meant to be taken with a grain of salt. The film doesn't shy away from poking fun at any issue at all, particularly in its critique on corporate greed um, and, and the environmental negligence, you know, which it's been doing with these films since it first started. But some jokes land better than others. You know, the film has this relentless energy and is willing to push the boundaries, but there are some pacing issues and, and that does affect the jokes. They don't always land, like I said. At times, the movie does drag and certain scenes feel unnecessarily prolonged or somewhat repetitive. The balance between action, humour and exposition is very uneven and it often leads to lulls in engagement overall. Now onto the special effects and look, Despite its low budget, the practical effects are inventive and very impressive in their execution. The use of practical gore and makeup effects give this film an authentic tactile quality that enhances a gross out appeal. And that is something, you know, any trauma fan knows they deliver in practical effects. You know, they're not always great, but they do have a little bit of something to them. And this is, for me, one of this film's standout elements. It's commitment to practical effects. The gore is just excessive, with scenes that are both cringe-inducing and hilariously absurd. Rewatchability. And look, as this was a first-time watch for me, this was a refreshing throwback to Trauma of the 80s. Their techno shit attitude to filmmaking and the way they embrace the low budget made it work. It's miles ahead of a lot of low budget filmmakers. Not all, because there are some really good filmmakers out there which don't have extravagant budgets and do a great job with what little they have. But then there are others that are just shit. So, would I go back and rewatch this? Yeah, no doubt I will. In fact, with the abrupt to-be-continued ending, it's a safe bet that I will be following this one up with Return to Return to Newcombe High, Volume 2, very soon. That'll probably next week anyway, but yeah, so in answer to this, I would definitely re-watch this one. So, final thoughts, and... Look, this is a film that fully embraces its identity as a cult horror comedy. It delivers a wild ride for fans of Trona Entertainment and 80s B-movies. But it's not for everyone. It's for those who appreciate Lloyd Kaufman's unique brand of filmmaking. It's a very wild and entertaining ride if you're into that kind of thing. If you're not, don't watch it. Trust me. But it does have a lot to go for it. Like, I will say that. It looks good. It's made really well. Bad humour aside, I really enjoyed this one. It manages to balance nostalgia with innovation, creating a sequel that actually stands on its own while honouring its predecessors. You know, its blend of humour, horror and social commentary, you know, make this a worthy addition to the Troma legacy. Overall, for a score, I would give this a 7.5 out of 10. And there you have it. 
that is my review of Return to Newcomb High Volume 1. Obviously, next week, I am going to follow this up with Return to Return to Newcomb High Volume 2. And we'll see how that goes, because I'm interested to see how the story ends. Maybe there's another one coming out. Maybe there's a Volume 3. I don't know yet. But let me know. Have you seen this film and what you thought of it? Let me know down below in the comments below. Keen to hear your thoughts. I know there are a lot of Troma fans out there, so definitely... I would love to hear what you think of this film. I, I I really enjoyed it. What can I say? Anyway, look, before I do bother on too much, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do give this review a thumbs up. And, of course, subscribe to my channel. If you made it this far, you might as well. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I do release a new review. Um, I do have a Gentile August coming up, so either my Trashy Tuesday will be taking a brief hiatus or my Franchise Friday will be. Not too sure which, depends on what day it lines up with and whatnot and what I get finished. Like I want to, I've got one more, one more Hellraiser and I've got one more, um, you know, return to return to Newcomb High to do. So hopefully everything will line up really well. But if not, it will be back in the next month. So keep an eye for that. But if you hit that notification bell, you're notified every time I do release one. Anyway, I'm blathering on. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.